Good day. My name is Ralph Dahilig, the lead developer of Zero Waste. I'm Mikael De La Cruz, the assistant developer of Zero Waste. And lastly, I'm Pablo Pinpin, the lead researcher for um, Zero Waste. The amount of garbage we generate in Metro Manila is estimated to be 12,500 tons per day. Our city is among the top 5 most severe waste-ridden cities in the world. Solid waste mismanagement and improper waste disposal are one of the causes leading to the tremendous amount of garbage that is spread all throughout the environmental state, not only of the Philippines but also of the world. Given the lack of proper disposal activities and implementation organized by the government authorities, combined with the undisciplined behavior of the public, this can cause a huge problem. So, the solution we thought is zero waste each system has multiple benefits and advantages which includes the following. First is that the system enables users to practice proper waste disposal in a simple and effortless manner. Moreover, this would vastly improve the environment of Metro Manila and even other parts of the nation due to the increase of waste and trash scattered around the city. The system is very informative and instructional since it communicates to the user about the rules and regulations regarding waste disposal in any area. The system shows garbage and trash bin locations around any given area. This provides users accessibility to easily locate the nearest trash bins and therefore commit their own habit of proper waste disposal. The system also provides a schedule of garbage collectors in their respective localities. This is to make users aware when the garbage collectors will arrive so that they will gather up their waste and provide it to them. The system notifies users about updates and reminders regarding their own task on proper waste disposal. The system informs users about proper waste management and segregation, which includes laws that are usually violated and might be violated if not followed. For our primary stakeholders, it would be us, of course, since we are responsible for the development of our project. Next would be our pro um, possible project sponsors who are interested in the success of our project. For our secondary stakeholders, we will need the, we will need the government's support, mainly LGU or local government units, and DNR, DENR or Department of Environment and Natural Resources. They can provide us with guidelines and legalities for our project. Junk shops and junk shop managers could also be our stakeholders since they are also one of the people who contribute to um, proper waste management. Our indirect stakeholders as well as primary st stakeholders would be our end users or customers since their concern will only be for the finished product. Zero Waste features the following. Number one, user registration. This enables the user to create an account in which they can personalize and customize their own profile. Number two, login. Upon registration, the user can log into their accounts to check news, notification, information, and more, having their own unique map. Number three, push notifications. This can directly alert the users of news updates and reminders. It provides real-time information. Number four, feedback and forum system. This provides a platform where users can ask directly the developers. They can share concerns, give comments, and suggestions. Number five, social media integration. This feature is to share information through integrating with other social media sites such as Facebook, Twitter, Google, and other similar social media. Number six, Google Maps API location tracking. This feature integrates Google Maps, which is geared toward tracking the location of vehicles, mobile resources, and employees. 
This allows developers to build applications that can store, display, and analyze GPS data on a map. This will allow organizations such as us to develop customized location-based applications. Then lastly, Google Maps API GPS free geolocation. This feature also integrates Google Maps to provide directions from your location and more. It will allow us to get more accurate location data without the need of GPS. Both API are used to map areas in which the routes of collectors and proper waste disposal drop points are located. So this is our website and it allows you to, number one, log in or sign up. If you decide to sign up, you will be taken to the uh, registration form where you will be asked to input your first and last name, your preferred username, and your password. And you also have the option to log in if you already have a uh, registered account, which you will be asked to input your uh, credentials which are your username and your password. So once you press login, uh, you will be redirected to the main menu where you will see the About Us option, the information, the use map, and the Contact Us. If you press the About Us button, you will see uh, information regarding who we are and our purpose. So if you click Our Purpose, for example, uh, you will be redirected to the page where it talks about what our purpose is. Uh, when you press the information, the next button in the main menu, uh, you will see four buttons. The first is uh, proper waste management segregation. Number two, uh, the cost and effects. Number three, the articles related to proper waste management segregation and the existing laws revolving around them. And if you, for example, press the cost and effects, you will be redirected to the cause and effects of proper waste management and segregation. If you press back uh, and go back to the main menu, there's also a feature where you can view the map, wherein you can see where you are and see nearby trash, trash bins based on your location. And lastly, you also have the option to contact us by number one, sending feedbacks, uh, through feedback forms and number two uh, you, you can also participate in the open forum regarding the topic of proper waste management and segregation and once you go back to the main menu you also have the option to log out in the event that you may want to register a new account or you want to log in using another account 